Today, we are building scary analog horror characters from the creator Dr. Nowhere, but out of LEGO. So subscribe now or else the bold one will haunt you in your sleep. Alrighty guys, for number one, we're going to be adding the boiled one. And we're also adding the little house in this scene as well. Alrighty guys, number one is complete and here we have the boiled one to start us off. And this one took me a while to put together, but I am extremely satisfied on the way this one turned out. But yes, we used lots of black slopes and also these little switch pieces that you can actually move just to add some extra detail because there's these black like sticks that are kind of sticking out of them. But yes, I mean, I'm just super happy on the way this one looks. And then we also added the little house and this is the scene that we kind of copied from. But anyway, we also use this medium green color and comparing it to the normal green, I think it just pops way more and looks way better. And then the a ton of like cornfield in the background. But anyway, that is number one. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far and you're not going to want to miss out on the rest of it. So let's hop on to the next one. Alrighty guys, for number two, we're gonna be adding locusts. Alrighty guys, number two is complete and here we have locust in Lego form. And this one is the most terrifying one. I think it's more scary than the boiled man, but that's just my personal opinion. But here he is, he is very lengthy. So he's kind of fragile and the arms do actually move using these hinge pieces, but you gotta be really careful because they'll just fall off. But here he is scary. And then we have this cool wallpaper that took me a while to build because it's pretty huge. And then we used lots of tan and dark tan pieces for it. But yes, it looks amazing. Guys, stay tuned because you're not going to miss out on the rest of this. Alrighty guys, you probably already know what this scene is about and this is the boy in the bath monster. Alrighty guys, number three is complete and here we have the boy in the bath and this was an absolutely devastating story behind the video but here we have the white, lanky, sinister looking monster and then we have the bathtub using these trans blue clear pieces. We have this, you know, random chair in the corner and then the shower head and yes, it wraps it up and it looks amazing but let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. That does it for number three but guys, stay tuned for the last and final piece. All right, he is, wait, there's something missing here. Hold on. Boom. All right, that looks better. All right, guys, for number four, we're gonna be adding the house walker. It actually has four mouths. You can just twirl it all around and it's also got four eyes as well on each side. It's pretty creepy.
And then we have this character, which I would try to pronounce the name. I searched it up. It's apparently Danish, so that's pretty interesting. I, I just know for a fact that I'd butcher the name, so we're just, we're just not going to try it. Alright guys, number four is complete and here we have the house walker, an awesome looking creature. And then we have this green scenery kind of area using tons of plant looking pieces and tons of green bricks and plates and it looks awesome. So yes, last piece, now let's add it to the group. Alrighty guys, it is complete. Here we have Dr. Nowhere Scariest analog horror characters. This isn't every single character he's made, but I will also leave his channel in the description down below if you guys want to go check him out if you don't know him already. But here they are. I also do want to mention that I'm willing to give every single one of these creations to him and send them to him. They might be a little fragile and some pieces might break and stuff, but yes, contact him being like, hey, McHorror is willing to send all of his Lego you know, characters to you. I don't know, say something like that. That would be awesome if you got all of these. You know, I'm a really big fan of his work and I really like his videos. So yes, all that being said, let's take a quick little look of this masterpiece.